Alright, today I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to make pyramids out of buckyballs. Um, now this may not actually be so quick because there's a lot of steps involved. Um, so, you get yourself a string of magnets and then make a square like that and then you fold around it to make a hexagon. But, uh, now we're just going to have a a four mark hexagon, which means it's it's got uh, four dots on each side. So we're just going to keep folding until it does. And now it does. And um, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take a card and cut off right here. And then right here. And I'll show you exactly what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, you notice how I cut that shape out of it? I'm gonna have to do that. Um, so, you're gonna want it to be uh, like two, three, four, five, four. It's gonna be like that every time, but in descending order. So the next one will be two, three, four, uh, three instead of two, three, four, five, four. Okay, and then what you do is you take your string and you attach it to the side here, and you make a loop like that. It's gonna have uh, five balls connecting up in the air like that. Okay, and go across to the next side. And you make the loop again. And you finish it off right here. Alright, and that's going to be your base. Now you set that aside. Okay. And we're going to make another one. This time you can only make uh, you can make one that's three sided, and then you'll just cut the shape out of it. See how it's uh, two, three, four, three. Okay. You're gonna do the same thing with this one. You're gonna take uh, your magnets, attach it, and make that loop. And then you're going to take this shape that you made first, and then this shape, and you're going to set them on top of each other. And they'll all be together like that, you see? Now just leave them like that, don't try and pinch the edges together and just set it aside. <clears throat> okay. Now we make another one. Um, the last one was two, three, four, three. So this one's just going to be two, three, two. So we're done right here. We don't even need to cut it. Um, what we are going to need to do is fold into it like that. That last one's a little tricky, but there you see we've got it. Oh, nope, I'm one ball off. Let's fix that. Ta-da, there we've got it. All right, now you'll take your old shape and you'll put this right on top of it and just leave it like that, set it aside. Then next, you're going to make, take six dots, fold it, 
make a triangle out of it. Attach that. And then you're going to make a, a loop like that with three balls in the air like that. Okay. And then you'll take and just set it on top like that. And then set it aside. And then you take another six. Put them together like that. Make another triangle out of them. And this one's going to be a little bit trickier. Um, you take the dots, you put it on one corner, and then you attach like that, okay? And then you repeat. And you end up with something that looks like that. Once again, you take your already pyramid shape, add that to the top of it, and at this point you're going to want to start to pinch down a little bit. And it works best if you just pinch the side and slide down with your fingers. Now the shape is going to look a little weird and not hold its form perfectly at first. Like you see these two dots right here, they don't look right, but they will at the end. So we'll go ahead and set that aside. And then this time we're going to take nine dots, connect them together. Make a triangle. and set it on top. Okay. And then we're going to take six dots again. Make another triangle. Like that. And Set it on top like that. And then it's it's gonna look a little messed up at this point like that, you see. But it'll get fixed in just a minute. Don't worry about it. Go ahead and set it aside again. You're gonna take three and make a triangle like that. And then you're gonna set it on top. Okay, and then you're going to take one and put it on top of that. And there you go. It's a pyramid. Bottom part has three little holes in it, so you just take three balls and connect them. and then you just press it to try and get everything as well in place as it can get, you know? And, um, there you have it. You've got your pyramid. Now, uh, I hope y'all can do it on your own now. Enjoy.